you've got myself and Jim Kilgallen today. Jim's our director of product management. We're your Metro Storage Nerds kicking you off uh, next. So today's topic, it's about reopening safely and, you know, sanitizers and gloves and masks are this big conversation that everyone's having. But once you buy all these things, they need to be stored and organized, and that is where Metro comes in. So today we're just going to talk about some solutions that help you keep your your mask, your gloves, your sanitizer, all that stuff organized and in the right places in your facilities. And with that, I will turn it over to Jim. I'm going to talk about where in a food service operation we need to find uh, access to sanitizer and PPE. And this is there's two topics here, sanitizer and PPE. And you can see from this, this diagram, there's, there's a lot of points. There's a lot of points. And we'll, we'll go through this a little bit in detail. But, you know, you want to have access to sanitizer, access to PPE, and, you know, to control the, the employee customer contact points. So what we, we anticipate, and I'm sure you see this too in your world, and it's no, no surprise, there's this great sanitizer tsunami coming. It's going to wash across the world and, and, and make it a better place. Um, but it really, it really is true. And where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? It's coming from the guidelines for reopening that are being provided by uh, organizations like the CDC and OSHA. And if you read, if you read the documents, you'll, they're quite long, but basically common sense. Provide PPE, promote social distancing, and give people sanitizer, keep them clean. And that, that's the, the long and short of it. Um, from a CDC standpoint, uh, OSHA's safe work practices, ditto. You know, they, they don't call it hand sanitizer, they call it hand rubs. But again, provide access to uh, tissues, no, no touch trash cans, soap, keep their hands clean. Um, and the one thing that jumped out as I read through the guidelines from the OSHA standpoint on PPE, it's the last bullet there that employers are obligated to provide their workers with PPE, need to keep them safe while performing their jobs. Um, so what's that strategy entail? Really, it's simple. You need to store stuff, you need to keep it organized, has to make it really easy to access and secure because these things are valuable and in high demand. So we don't want stuff walking. Um, it's, it's hard to get uh, PPE and hand sanitizer and you don't want it to be leakage. And right now for the United States, think about the world, but for the United States alone, the, the, the job to be done is huge. Uh, there's nearly 30 million business establishments in the U.S., 1.3 million food service points alone. And you'll see that you, you all are going to need at least one or potentially more. Um, and that's where I come back to this diagram of a, of a, of a restaurant. Um, where would you need to put sanitizer or PPE? Well, you need to put it in the access points to a facility, the entryways, right? You need to put it near restrooms. You need to put it near common touch points, like places where handles, phones, registers, things like that. Um, you also want to put it where people are going to be interacting to keep them safe. You want to kind of make it uh, a point of contact uh, solution where, you know, people are interacting with customers, taking their orders, taking a payment, servicing them. So you can see where you can maybe want to put some sanitizer there. And then also in, in, on top of sanitizer, you might have, want to offer PPE, certainly to your staff, PPE, you know, on in entry, masks, gloves, and things like that. But also many people are giving uh, masks and gloves to their customers to keep them safe. So a matter, matter of, uh, of practice for each operation. Um, and some examples, you'll see that maybe the normal table condiments will go away and all that will be left is hand sanitizer. And then hand sanitizer at the register, common, common thing you find. Um, at the airport, you see vending machines now offering hand sanitizer. What are they offering? Wipes, mask, sanitizer. Very simple. Um, I got this email from a, a, a b and that I, I've gone to before and they're telling me how they're gonna keep me safe if I ever come back. What are they doing? Keeping common spaces safe, masks, hand sanitizers. And then even in the room, they're giving you extra masks, gloves, sanitizers, so that the theme is very, very common there. And even on the streets in Southport, North Carolina, along with the bike rack, the water fountain, you can now get hand sanitizer, even on the street. So like I mentioned, this great, great uh, sanitizer tsunami that's coming, it's kind of a real thing. It's gonna be everywhere. Because everybody wants to reopen safely. And on top of social distancing, and you know traditional food safety things you know, being clean and sanitized and protected is important and so what we found and our strategy is we we have the right tool for the job you know much like our, our friends at tito's there was the wrong tool for the job and then become the right tool for the job we're, we're developing things to fulfill our mission to make the world more organized efficient and productive and most importantly safe people have always look to metro for safe solutions from a from a design standpoint from a reliability standpoint, but now they want us to help them keep them safe from an operational standpoint. So our goal, our strategy for this is to make the sanitizer and PPE available wherever it is needed and all those points of, of contact. 
And so how we're going to do that is with a, a few very simple things. Hopefully they're simple and effective. Um, accessories. So there's two types of accessories we're going to provide. Um, hand sanitizer uh, accessories, holders for one gallon style and two liter style pump action um, sanitizers. And then also glove box holders. We, we The one in the middle here, you'll see the vertical glove box holder, something we've had for a while. We're expanding that offering to be have a horizontal glove box holder and a triple box a glove box holder. And the triple box glove box holder will be for when people want to offer their employees different size gloves. Um, some operations, one size fits all. Some types they want to give them different sizes. Um, and on top of that, where do these go? They're going to go everywhere, right? Because almost every food service establishment has a metro rack. And then you can hang these accessories and basically take every metro shelving unit out there and make it into a PPE or sanitizing station. Very simple idea. Um, where else does it go? It goes on our smart wall. Where's smart wall at? Very important points of contact. Workstations, sinks. Above those places are, is smart wall. We can now increase our offering from the, the glove box holder, to the sanitizer holder, making smart wall a PPE sanitizing station. And in, in addition to these wire forms, you can take any shelving unit, add a hanger rail to it, again, make it into a PPE or sanitizing station. Um, on top of that, not just basic accessories, we are packaging up some pre-configured uh, application solutions. We call them smart solutions. And the first one's a PPE tree. If you've walked into a big box retailer, or Lowe's or Home Depot, or any place, a grocery store, you know, oftentimes they have a, a single a point a hand sanitizer dispenser. Well, the idea of the PPE tree is it gives you four times the PPE or, or sanitizing uh, access. People can come from each side. You can do one side, two sides, three sides, and really give it a high volume um, access to sanitizer and or PPE. You can put a trash can there. You can, you can configure it a little bit differently the way you want it. Very flexible, very um, repurposable solution for giving four times the sanitizer, supporting the great sanitizing tsunami out there. Um, another another prepackaged solution uh, is our sanitizing station. Now, what this is is our version of what you might see in those small pedestals that have a sanitizer, a glove box, and maybe a mask box holder. Um, this is where you can you can put all those things in one spot. You can put a trash can there. You know everyone's seen the, the masks and gloves on the streets and in the parking lots. So give some people access to throw things away. And then what's nice about this is completely reconfigurable, adaptable to the customer's demands. Imagine putting signage on top of it, but it's on casters where you can roll it away, move it to a different spot, different entry point, repurpose it. And those casters are total lock casters, so it's nice and stable once in use. And then uh, the final one is if you have a, uh, a customer where they have a, a large staff that's coming in, um, they may be doing a check-in station. So you want to have a high volume amount of PPE available and sanitizer. This might be where you're taking your temperatures. And then you have, you have a large quantity of, of material there for, for staff entry uh, points. And then you can lock it up, secure it, move it out of the way when uh, when it's not needed. So that's kind of the scenario we see that being used for. And then finally, two new products leveraging the work that our strategic accounts team's done in um, working with one of our national account customers, um, sanitizer stands. So this goes back and supports that basically sanitizer everywhere, right? So if you don't have a metro rack, if you just have open space, you can put a stand there and have your sanitizer available. Two versions of the stand, one from universal motion sensors, so you can mount it to the, to the plate, put your hand underneath it, get your sanitizer and move on. And then also one for pump, pump sanitizer stands. So if you're using a one gallon or a two liter, which are the common sizes, little cup on the top, puts it on top, and there you go. You can put hand sanitizer in any space you want. Um, some of the details on this. So I just hit my timer, perfect timing. Uh, availability details. Um, you'll find these on auto quotes on Monday. A launch package will go out on Monday also. We'll be able to take orders on Monday. And we plan to be able to ship product the week of June 22nd, um, noting that the stations and accessories will then be a ship from stock situation and the hand sanitizer stands will be make to order. And we're looking at a one to two week uh, approximate lead time based on quantity, um, noting that the demand is already very high. And but I want you to understand that we're all we're ramping up to North American manufacturing sources. You know, if you want to learn more, uh, these will also be up on our site probably tomorrow, maybe Monday at the latest. So you can get extra collateral and spec sheets on these uh, pre-configured shelving stands for PPE storage. And lastly, for our final slide, tune in to our upcoming webinar. Uh, we have Jerry Kenlon and Lauren Narika taking you through Metro's drive-through solutions next week. So please tune in and thank you very much.